Oh, just a minute. It's taped closed. I'll need a knife. Well, maybe not. Hey, everybody. I'm Stu Carter from Atomai TV. It's May the 4th. So stand by for a Star Wars toy review. Now, what May the 4th is coming up next week in my time. Maybe this will be released, this video will be released on May the 4th. I'm not, maybe the weekend before, okay? And I'm going to showcase these Bandai, Japanese Bandai, very high-end uh, Star Wars figures. They're called the Movie Realization Series. Let's get a close look at the box for uh, Ronin Baba Fett. Yeah, Ronin Baba Fett. Ronin in Japanese culture, it has to do with these were samurai. They were warriors. They, they were attached to a feudal lord. They had a master, right? A big boss. And that guy gets killed or he's got to quit for some reason. And so all of his samurai dudes, all of his henchmen are re released. And they're not going to any, no one else is going to pick them up. So they're just wanderers. So that's what they call them, wanderers or maybe words like deadbeat <laughs> drifter. And, and the samurai, real samurais, kind of look down on these guys. And uh, these guys would mess around. They'd be like guns for hire, which is, yeah, which is just like what Boba Fett does. He's a mercenary, right? And that's what these real Ronin would do back in the old days. It would be guns for hire, bodyguards. Uh, a lot of them became criminals and the unwanted types, which is why the real uh, samurai kind of looked down on them. Um, so, and on the back of the box, oh, on the, while we're talking about the front, it says 95 9,500 yen, Japanese yen. That's 88, 88 US dollars. That's what I paid for this. I'm crazy. This is very highly detailed, but I'm kind of crazy to pay that much. On the back, they tell you in Japanese how wonderful this, this uh, and how detailed it comes with all these extra daggers. And he's got this uh, matchlock carbine, and he's got two swords, I believe. It should, because Samurai always had two swords. And all this other stuff, how, how cool it is. And they got the name of the designer. I didn't bother writing it down. Okay. All right, so you're ready to get it open? Okay, let's open it up. So let's get this box open, okay? Oh, just a minute. It's taped closed. I'll need a knife. Well, maybe not. Okay. Sure, no problem. So I'm opening the box now. Mmm, let me take off this plastic. I think we got that PVC smell. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Even after five years on the shelf, you still get that PVC release because the plastic holds it in, right? And then you let the plastic out and the PVC just wafts over you. And it's perfectly legal. You can't complain about it. You remember when you're, well, you don't remember when you were kids because you never had mimeographs, but your granddad, ask your granddad about mimeograph machines in school and then you get the little sheets for the test and you're sniffing the sheets because the mimeograph has got that alcohol stuff or whatever. Ah, oh, it's nice on the inside of the box. It says from a galaxy far away. That's nice, far, far away. And then you get this little sheet of stuff well, let's just, let's just look closer, okay? Oh, here. I know you're dying to see what it looks like in the case, so here. We'll get a close-up look. Come on. Here's what you see when you open it up. Really, that's a great display. Well, why not for, for $88? Uh, and you get, what are you getting on here? You're getting all the hands, like several, two, four, six, eight pairs of hands. You get the figure. He's in one piece. No putting them together. You get a bunch of daggers, three, six different daggers. Only one sword. I thought, actually, traditional samurai guys are supposed to have two swords, a short one and a long one. It looks like he's got a short one, but then he's got this musket, so maybe that's why he doesn't carry an extra sword. And he's got his, his little jet backpack because he's Boba Fett, see? So, you know, it sort of blends, you know, a little, a little blending of uh, ancient samurai stuff in the modern. Well, all right, let's get him out of the box here. And, uh, and here's, uh, here's the inside of the box, right? Yeah, that's so cool, right? And, and then here's the little instruction sheet you get. You don't need that. Well, it's not really instruction sheet. It's just mostly like a, it's showing you where, where the daggers go and stuff. 
and it's showing you how to put the sword in the scabbard and where that attaches. Yeah. All right, we'll figure it out. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, so Baba Fett's little backpack thingy, easy enough, it just goes right on the guy's back here, just like that. So he's ready to go jetpacking away. He's the envy of the other samurai who don't have a jetpack like this. So his short sword, short sword, goes into the scabbard here, easy enough, no problem. And then he's got a little uh, thingy. You put it through here on his hip, and it stays in place. And then uh, you can you can draw it. Sure, you can draw the sword, and the scabbard stays put. So that's good. So his matchlock musket. What's supposed to be a matchlock, and I'm, I'm afraid I'm not a, enough of an expert on this kind of weapon, except to know it does have one articulating thing here. This would be where you're putting the match, and then you touch it. Like, see, these guys have to walk around with not just one, but two matches, just in case one blew out. They would have not really a match. Would it would be like um, like a fuse, you know, a real slow burning fuse. It would just kind of smoke, but it would, there would be a spark there, right? And then that is stuck on here, and when you're ready to shoot, you just you bring this down, and it touches off this pan, which has some flash powder in it, and it goes flash, bam, and then there's a, a little hole in there, and it goes inside the barrel and lets off the main charge, and you go boom, and you get one shot, and then it probably takes you a long time to reload. There's no uh, sling. If I'm toting around a heavy thing like this, I would want a sling. It also comes with a, uh, a scope, a telescope. Interesting. So, but there's no sling, so I'll, I'll put this in his hand. Well, let's just see now. Um, you know, if, if, you, if you're right-handed, you're going to put, put it to your shoulder here on the right side and then try to hold it with your left hand. But the, the, this is his fist, so we'll have to do this with... Uh, other uh, hands, okay? We'll do that in a second. Okay, so all, all these daggers, let's see if I can, this one looks like a normal kind of a throwing knife, sure. And it's going over here on this right leg here, so they say, in the directions. And uh, I'm putting these on for the first time. And then this one, I don't know what this is, looks like maybe it's a, a, a can opener for like, if he's got a can of tuna to open or something. <laughs> or maybe it's for chopping wood. I don't know. But he's got like no two knives are the same in this little outfit he's got here. Uh, I'm gonna, do I have to stop the camera to do this? I'll have to. I may have to. Yeah. There. Okay. That's kind of on. Okay. That's kind of on there. Okay. Let's try the other side. And then, and then he's got another thrown dagger. Okay. Okay. This one is very similar to the first one. And then he's got a, a small, see, in case you need a small throwing dagger, see? <laughs> he's got that one. This thing, it looks like a tool for his uh, musket, uh, something to help clear it, you know, because they are hard to load, I'm sure. Okay, so there's this, those three, but that's, that's five knives or tools on his legs. That's not all. And then lastly, so the last throwing knife he's got goes on his left arm here, on his left forearm. <laughs> so if you capture him in battle, you've got to spend like an hour checking him, checking him, you know, patting him down to get all these weapons out of him. Okay, so let's have a good look at him. There's all those knives on his legs you've got to watch out for. You come up here and you see his jet pack and his helmet, and this little target, I assume this is a targeting thing that's in the real, you know, the, the, in the movie he's got this too. Uh, it, it's different, it's more like, a, yeah, they stylized different in this compared to the movie, and the movie is more square, right? And um, that's a cool, that's a great helmet. And then he's got his dagger in his arm and his sword, He's got this little cape, it's plastic, of course. And then on the other side, he's got sort of a, a tassel or a braid. Here, let's put that out, that's kind of cool. 
yeah, sort of a, a decorative tassel thing. That's pretty cool. Lots of armor, lots of pieces for the armor would account for m most of why it's so expensive. So many different pieces and molded so carefully. He's got lots of ammo pouches for ammo and food, I assume, and all kinds of uh, various armor pieces. Yeah, there, straighten that out a little bit. Look at that. All these little platey things. It's not like molded. These are like separate pieces that are glued together. Chest plate, shoulder pieces. Yeah, overall, look at them. Well, we're, I'll try at least one of these hands, and uh, we'll see how well he uh, can hold this musket. Right, so I like this hand. Well, there's several sets of, what did I say, two, four, six, eight, nine sets of hands, nine pairs. And I like this one. Oh, I like this one for, uh, he stands up pretty well. But uh, considering he's very heavy on top. But uh, I like that, that hand for uh, holding the musket. Yeah. And then I put the dagger in the other hand because I don't want to worry about aiming the musket right now. <laughs> Hey, and I like another hand for holding that uh, short sword. I don't believe that with a short sword, he's going to use a two-handed approach unless he's like slicing bread or something. <laughs> so I kept the uh, dagger in the other hand there, and uh, I think that looks pretty good by itself. I wish he had a long sword, but he's got the musket, so what are you going to do? Hi, guys. If you like our video for today, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. No one I know is how to kill me. I guess I'm doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions. Just an empty head filled with the sky.